Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are playing Interstellar Rift. And let's start a new game. And now, um, the first option we have to look at here is... Um, you start with, with a faction, so Hurls is uh, mining. Galactic Trade is uh, trading, as the name suggests. S3 is um, like uh, military or security. Um, it's a security faction. And the Drifters are pirates. So I usually start with Horus because I think it, 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 um, it brings uh, more options. Or let's say you have... Um, like both mining, uh, assembling, and howling missions at the beginning. So, and uh, tr trade is uh, good as well, but let's say I, I like that Hurls uh, gives these other mining options as well. And then there's the Sentinel security. So this is if you... Um, want to like have a, a more fighting active fighting game and the drifters are the pirates so let's start with hurls and let's uh, wait i'm i'm by the way i'm in a still um, experimental a branch this uh, has the new features that uh, has have been incorporated into the game okay so we start in the in in the hurls uh, industrial complex so um this game is about um building ships you can build ships also uh, you can buy them uh, at a starting point and then uh, you make your way um, in the game. Well, of course, it's it's a sandbox game, um, pretty much in the spirit of Elite. Like you uh, start um, with um, a bit of money, and uh, um, you you either buy a ship or build it yourself. And then you um, you progress in the game, um, increasing your uh, wealth and increasing your uh, fleet. Um, okay, and now we are in the well. Uh, the 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 galaxy is um, it's uh, I think it's uh, procedurally generated uh, somehow. Uh, and um, and you and to travel between one point and the other, you have to generate these rifts, and there is the name interstellar rift. They are like um, some sort of wormholes or something. Okay, so this game, what when you start with hurls, you receive like um, uh, a starting uh, money and resources. So currently we have um, 750k and we have some uh, high hydrogen fuel and some oxygen. So when you start with a faction you have the option to purchase uh, a ship from the faction. In this case we can purchase the excavator MK1 or we could... Um, well, we, uh, this um, excavator AMK2 is beyond our uh, budget, so we have to uh, buy this one. Alternatively, you could just mine the, the resources you need to... to build uh, whatever ship um, you have uh, designed. So this is like the mining uh, room here, and these these uh, huge machines here are the the miners, 
the, or the extractors they are called in the game and these are um, refineries here so uh, you will mine the ores in the extractor and then you will uh, refine them in the in the in the uh, refineries and these are cargo teleporters where you can uh, teleport cargo to your to your ship so let's go ahead and purchase a, sh a ship and see what um, what is it like so we purchase the ship and then what we do is just take the resources here Well, first let's let's uh, check out the ship directly, so you get an idea what uh, the ship is like. So you have to select the ship in the teleporter, and then teleport to it. By the way, this game, um, this is the way you 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 go into stations and ships. Everything is done with a teleporter. Um, okay, so this ship has a mining bay and that's a cool feature like you can mine with this um, with this ship and you have um, cargo um, pads where you can uh, transport things uh, and then this is where the the power this is the engine room sort of so we have all these uh, generators hydrogen generators so they will consume hydrogen and generate power and then we have like the here's the the the, the life support system so you have to feed this with um, oxygen and you will and it will um, generate carbon like it will scrub the air with carbon this these are batteries here and here you should feed the the hydrogen this is the the tank so let's go upstairs we have here the this is a an armor generator so you place here uh, nanobots and it will generate uh, the ship's armor um yeah and this is the the bridge basically so you have a captain seat and then the pilot and co-pilot so and the ship um it looks like this from the from outside this is the miner okay but um, the way i play this usually is that instead of using this ship uh, the faction ship i like to uh, design my own ships and fly them and this is i think it's minimum half of the fun of this game if not more because I, I even argue that there are people that just like the de uh, designing and building uh, ships because it it, uh, it, it gives you um, some nice options to to build your ship and then um, test it and the way I play usually this game is that I would um, like a, a, a typical playthrough is that I would start with a really small ship and then um, make my way to building uh, bigger ships. So I I would um, I would design all all these different ships uh, for the different tiers and different stages. And then I will try to build them in, like in a, 
in a playthrough and what we're going to do now let's try this I will uh, salvage this ship it will give us uh, some resources as you can see here okay and the ship uh, I want to build is the mole hauler usually I start with this ship so here it says that we will need uh, 12,000 iron um, extra and uh, fourth uh, uh, a, a little uh, less than 5,000 uh, copper so we we will have to mine that okay so and I will show you the the ship in the if I say modify ship no not modify but design I, I want to show you the ship uh, where is it mole hauler So this is the designer interface and this is the ship I want to build basically it's a, it's a hauler as the name says it's a hauler ship but one imp I think one important difference with the starting ship of the faction is that it has in uh, some defense capabilities it has some weapons so it has uh, two uh, auto cannons and two laser laser cannons and this is uh, i think it's important because uh, now and then you find these um, uh, aliens they're called skrills that will attack you and it's important to to have uh, to have some defense uh, capability so uh, I will show the interior of the ship. So the, I designed this ship um, for, as I said, for holding pr purposes and uh, with some defense. So it has um, this cargo area, right? Where um, I can, um, I have these cargo containers that uh, they have a. Uh, uh, large capacity also some cargo pads here um, I have uh, these uh, wings where I um, have uh, the, uh, the generators and the weapons loaders and here is the the bridge in front and this is the engineering section And if we go downstairs, we have the power um, room where I control the, the, the power. Uh, these uh, things that you see in the wall, these are uh, power boxes. So uh, one thing that the game lets you do is separate the, the devices of the, of the ship into power groups. So you can, in fact, uh, have them uh, powered independently. So the idea is like you could, you can manage the the, the power and uh, well. When uh, since I be began playing the game, I uh, always thought about power management in the way that FTL does it, right? And uh, in fact this is like the idea that you see if you if you watch Star Trek uh, is this idea that you have like a main power source and this uh, this power is routed to different systems and you can um, overload some systems uh, and, and redirect power between systems in certain situations so um, you can um you can have like the ship adapt to different situations 
and take advantage of this uh, power routing to uh, buff up your in some cases your defenses or your speed or um, your weapons wh whatever it is right that you you need at that at that moment so this is the reason why i um, i separate the different power groups uh with with uh, for that you it's good that you 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 place these power boxes here um you don't need to do that though uh you could just have a single power group and your your ship will work perfectly with, with, with that it's just that um if you if you um, i i think if if you're playing for the first time i would suggest that you just have one power group um and then when you get acquainted uh, with uh, how this um, how this the the ship energy um, works then you can try the power groups i frequently use it and as we make the playthrough i will show you how we use it so and this is the um, this is the the hydrogen tank it's a medium hydrogen tank and here we have life support and uh, one thing that this ship has uh, that the starting ship doesn't is this um, cargo teleporter so this is also an advantage that uh, if you don't have the cargo teleporter you will have to in order to complete missions you will have to carry um, the the things yourself in your inventory uh, and then teleport to the station and there are in the stations there are these drop boxes where you will leave um, the the things uh, that are required in the mission so a teleporter is more efficient because you you can just uh, without leaving the ship you can just deliver everything to the to the station uh what else well there is a second floor and the second floor is divided uh, between the uh, there's a small galley in the ship uh, a small also sleeping quarters bathroom well this this uh, part here is mainly decoration they, they these things they don't uh, they don't have any functionality in the game so the galley the the sleeping uh, quarters with uh, the sleeping bunks and stuff they, this doesn't even the the toilet they, they don't have any um, functionality in the game but I place it because I like to make my ships like um, resemble a, an actual ship uh, that is um, manned by human beings. But otherwise, I won't. Uh, I won't go into this uh, room ever. Like, of course, when you are being attacked, the some of these systems will be damaged and it's uh, good if you repair them otherwise i don't know um, you can have trouble with uh, energy consumption i i'm not sure but usually i repair them the other room is um, it, it contains the defense systems like the shield generator and the armor generator and also i have a, a printer we will see uh, how the printer is used a teleporter of course all the every ship needs a teleporter otherwise you will not be able to to, to get into your ship and also we have this um this um i i, I don't remember how is this called uh, now this is the um, you need this uh, in case you you die so th this is like a respawning point uh, it's called ah yes the molecular assembler you need a molecular assembler if for example you die and you want to respawn inside your ship then you need one of those otherwise you will respawn in some station but that could mean that you lose your ship if you cannot respond in it 
So basically that's it. It's a it's a relatively small ship. But uh, as I said, it 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 can hold uh, cargo and it can um, also teleport cargo. So it's basically a hauling ship and uh, yeah, it doesn't have extractor so it's not a mining ship. But to start I think it's one of the best way just to haul hauling hauling cargo. If you need to mine like as part of the mission you can use the miners in the in the industrial industrial complex and there also there are mining stations as well. So this is not an issue. You can accept mining um, missions as well. Okay, so let's um, go back and let's mine uh, what we need. So, how much did we say it again that we need? Um, we need a twelve. Uh, Almost 13,000 uh, iron and 5,000 copper. So let's mine some iron and copper. We don't need um, steel, we have enough steel. So let's put this. Um, these extractors to work Okay, so we uh, we have to uh, turn those ores into into ingots. So we load the refinery with that. We select uh, the iron to um, be processed. So here um, in these systems we have um, this this um, station is located at um, an asteroid field and this asteroid field is rich with um, iron, copper uh, and water. Water is used to create hydrogen and oxygen you need hydrogen f uh, to fuel your ships. Um, there are other ways to fuel them. There's also um, nucle nuclear energy and uh, you can have a nuclear reactor in your ship. And also you could have um, solar panels, but uh, you cannot like, um, you cannot power a ship only with solar panels. 
the solar panels as i see it, they are more um like to to have an emergency power a source like if everything fails then you have uh, these uh, solar panels generating energy but they generate so little energy that you cannot power your ships uh, with that and also the way i use these pa solar panels is that if i um sp if when when the ship is spawned for the first time it doesn't it doesn't have um, energy in it usually because the the hydrogen tanks are empty and if 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 the ship has solar panels then uh, even without w without any fuel being the the hydrogen tank empty uh, it will it will still generate power and then when you get to the ship maybe you can um, if you if if the if the panels have been um, generating power long enough um, you will get to the ship and you can uh, have power in the doors and things like that because at the beginning you uh, well you you saw that when we started with a uh, with a faction ship uh, we didn't need to power the the doors and I think this is because the 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 ship has uh, panels solar panels um, but when we spawn or or ship like the this uh, mole hauler that I designed uh, I think I, we will have to power the doors for example with uh, with our suit so our, our suit has some energy and you can power things with uh, with the grip this uh, this device here there is this uh, device manager I will show you later where you can just power your power things in the ship with your suit through the through the grip and we are So we set a uh, thirteen thousand, thirteen thousand um, iron and five thousand uh, copper, I think. Five thousand extra copper. So let's see. So a lot of the game uh, at the beginning is a lot of mining. Well, especially if you um, start with your own ship. Uh, of course, salvaging, uh, buying a ship and salvaging it is a way to start with. Uh, some of the some of the resources you need to build your ship Okay, I think we are close now to the to what we need for the ship.
Okay, so we have a full... A full cargo. Cargo pad there, so let's uh, refine some... Copper here. And I think we should have some water as well. Well, yeah, we need to um, somehow also have uh, enough fuel for the ship. Okay, let's uh, place this here. Okay, so... Uh Let's take these things from the pads. Probably this is already enough, I'm not sure. Let's start um, mining some um, water because this is the next thing we need water. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we are already, uh, we have already enough iron. Um, let's finish uh, processing this um, copper. Probably we already have enough copper as well. Let's leave this uh, iron here for a moment. And now let's process the, the water. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is enough. Let's process that.
Okay, that's enough uh, water for one. So here, um, these these are the options, right? You you have like this is the input of the of the refinery. So we have all this water um, ore, let's say, and um, we have like we we can produce with it um, either hydrogen or deuterium or um, oxygen. So. <coughs> Oxygen and hydrogen, you already know what it's used for. And then uh, you have the deuterium. Deuterium is used uh, for certain weapons. So we are going to produce um, hydrogen for fuel. <clears throat> so I think what what got me into this game is uh, basically the fact that you can build your ship <coughs> and for me it well you will see uh, it gives um, the fact that you can you 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 um, you have all these UIs that um, are integrated into the the, the 3d um, view like this first person perspective give you um, some sense of um, of being immersed in the in, in the game right so this is this is what really uh, got me into the game that you could um, design your own ships and then um, pilot them right uh, complete missions have like this functional uh, system or this functional vehicle that um, you were somehow part of right and but o otherwise uh, Let's say the, the 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 universe is not that um, what should I say complex, right? Everything is uh, you have this the stations you're you have really few um, em environments or let's say um, landscapes, right? It's not like elite where you you can um, you can explore uh, planets and you have these different uh, landscapes and these different environments. Um, it's not like that. So, but but the fact that you can uh, design a ship, build it, and uh, pilot it, and complete missions like whole uh, cargo with it um, mine resources with it or fight aliens with it this is um, I think this is this gives some sense of uh, fulfillment and I think this is what um, drives uh, the community it has it, it, it has a, a a relatively small community but it's a faithful community uh, i mean people invest um, a lot of hours in this game and also you you have like uh, the multiplayer aspect of it this is also i forgot to mention that it, this is also this brings some interesting um, gameplays because then you could you could play with your friends right you could um, crew a ship uh, with uh, your friends and this is really also a, a, a big part of it right that, that it's like um, a fun activity like to to be able to 
to um, crew a ship with your friends and uh, distribute all these roles uh, among your your peers right like you would um, one would be the captain the other would be the engineer the other will be like the the, the, the weapon um, in charge of weapons and stuff okay so uh, still need okay 40,000 still need uh, 12,000 what is this okay I not sure what's going on ah I think it's no it's it's uh, because it's not updated this this uh, this is a uh, uh you could consider it a bug of the game like the U the ui is not updated with the resources i uh, i introduced in in my vault there okay yes i have sorry i have enough um enough resources and i will i will end up with um with some excess so let's build this by the way this vault system uh, is um, you have this private vault where you can keep resources but uh, and then there is this uh, crew vault and fleet vault so you can with your with other players you can create a crew a fleet and then you can share resources through these vaults and also if you go to another station and they have a vault then you can access your vault through that so it's not like your resources are, are in a in a in a single place um, but these resources are shared okay now we have this uh, cargo pad uh, loaded with fuel and now look at this i have the mole hauler because it's already built and it's uh, um, orbiting the station so um, now i have access to all these uh, parts of the ship uh, where i can transfer cargo um, including the fuel tank so let's select the tank and the tank takes 25,000 units or um, yes of uh, fuel and here we have uh, s I think 16,000 so let's teleport that there we are we filled it with 16,000 fuel so we can um, fill it entirely with fuel okay the tank is full we have some fuel uh, still remaining we can uh, teleport the remaining fuel to uh, some car to some cargo container and with this with this uh, other water we can uh, generate um, oxygen because we will need oxygen as well let's turn this into more fuel and And also we should we should transfer some uh, iron, copper, and also carbon we could. Okay, so let's transfer this to one of the... 
of the cargo containers I think we only need let's only have one one and one I think is enough you will see what what is the use of it okay so what do we have here nothing and here we have some fuel left okay I think that's enough that's it guys okay so let's now teleport towards newly newly built ship and the first thing we will have to do is to set up the power So you see here that the that the doors are they say low power. This is because uh, they are receiving some power from the perhaps from from the solar panels. But basically, one of the issues is that if I try to open the door, it won't let me. Uh, so I I have to take the grip, uh, go for the device manager, click and select the door and then connect grip to device and then we are powering the door you see with our with our suit and we can open it and one thing is that this uh, ship doesn't have the this po uh, power boxes um, configured so you, uh, I, c I could do this at some points I have to do it because you can start with a ship already with a with a different groups as assigned so this is for example this um, power box here belongs to life support now it's um, it's receiving it seems it's receiving some power you see for very very little and this uh, probably comes from the I don't know from from the panels uh, I'm not sure uh, but the way you would uh, do this is that you have to request power here and these are the, the, the power groups I have configured in in this ship and I have to request power from power now this zero that you see there uh, is not that it doesn't have power it's just that there's no power um, transfer this is what it means but when I click here and press power now you see that it starts to transfer power to the system and this power box can give um, 150 units of power every um, I think it's every tick or whatever unit of uh, time is that the game uses and you can um, move this slider to change that so this is also a way to manage power in the game and you see that it's now is slowly um, filling in um, now uh, this would be the shields again we request power from power and then it's um, and then it's receiving power and this is for the cargo we do that as well this is the default group in this group i have um, most of the batteries in other ships i would have a lot of things that are currently in the default into a group called navigation because the cockpit is there a lot of batteries for the for navigation are there as well okay and this is propulsion this was the last one okay so and now you can see that the this a power cell is being filled with uh, with uh, power and that level you see there is the in fact the, the level of the power level uh, of the of the of the cell and this is a battery power cells they um, charge faster and discharge faster 
they work like a con condenser i think it's called uh, in english uh, this uh, in electric these electronic components and the power uh, it stores power slowly and it uh, discharges slowly as well and this is our tank it's almost full this is the level the 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 charge level of the of the tank and now we are running out of oxygen this is the the reason why you have this low oxygen warning showing up there so we need to put some oxygen into the life support system and it's this one so we place some oxygen there and now you can see that it's uh, the oxygen is full and it start it will start generating oxygen for us so i like the this um, views from the windows of the ship you can you get a sense well this helps with the immersion like you you have like this um effect that you feel that you are inside the ship and you can look outside and like you're part of the environment right that it the ship is not like isolated from the rest so depending on the size of your ship these views can be really um stunning or somehow impressive if you will well for some people these uh, the graphics of these games are not that uh, advanced like if you compare to elite or other games but i mean it has for me it has its charm i i really um, i'm really fond of this game Okay, and what are we going to do now? Uh, I will show you. Ah, by the way, this is this is a salvage unit. With this, uh, we can salvage uh, the debris that is floating in space, and with this other device, we can um, dump things in space. Either you can dump things that you don't need anymore, but also you can dump um, drones that will help you help you defend your ship or will repair your ship. So it's quite useful to have those. These are lockers, and what we're going to do with this ore, with these ingots, I have here is to um, we're going to print oh that was not meant i didn't mean to fill up with uh, copper so we have now copper and uh iron and uh, here are a bunch of recipes of things you can print in this printer so we're going to print uh repair tool ammo this we will need in case our ship gets damaged and um, we can repair uh, the different devices that get damaged with um, with a repair tool. But we have to, of course, buy the repair tool because um, we could make it in the printer as well. But we don't have the, 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 the resources for that. Uh, let's go here. We need... Uh, also we need nanobots so first repair tool we need to buy that yeah buy that and we need uh, nanobots for our shield generator let's buy um, 600 for now ah what happened I think I didn't press enter. 600, enter. Ah, no, that's more like it. So there we are. And we need some... Ammo. 
Uh, probably we won't have enough money to buy this. Yeah, this is what I thought. Okay, let's just uh, get a loan. We can get a loan here. Loans. They will give us 750,000 uh, with an interest rate of 2.5. So yeah, I want to have that loan. So we can repay it when we make some missions. But right now we need ammo because we cannot um, like make this ammo uh, currently. So we need 1200. These are laser cells and we need those. This is for the auto cannon. And now let's take some missions. Hydropex needs goods. So here um, they will ask you, for example, in this case, we have to transport 12,000 units of hydrogen um, to some station here, and they will reward us with 115,000 uh, credit units and 123 Santium. This is used uh, to, for, to create uh, rifts. It's a valuable resource, and uh, on top of that, we receive influence with a faction. So let's accept that. The goods will be trans teleported to our ship. There's more of these missions. So, yes, let's accept that other mission. Okay, uh, another. You see that there are um, several hauling missions here, and we can perfectly fulfill them with um, with our ship. So that's good. Okay, I think that's all the missions for now. Uh, another thing I was going to tell you about this, this is the like this um, vault terminal. The other thing you can do with this is uh, have an insurance for your ship, and what that means is um, that if your ship is destroyed, they will um, there they will um, restore your ship of course without they say without any upgrade or whatever you had on the, sh on the ship but this is ver very handy um, feature if you are beginning the, the, the game um, well it, it happened to me that the Skrill were <laughs> destroying me, the aliens And yeah, I um, instead of like having to mine all the resources again to get the ship um, back, uh, I they they would just um, spawn it again for you. Okay, but what were we doing here? Ah, yes, we need to create more of this um, repair to ammo. One is not enough. So, uh, we have to load it because currently is it doesn't have anything. Now it's loaded. Okay, just in case we need it. And also, let's. Uh, I need to turn off the the shields. Here you can deactivate the shields because the shields. This is one thing that um, consumes a lot of power. 
the the shields so you don't want to have them activated all the time and here we this is uh, um, an engineering terminal and uh, here I can manage the power group so this is these are I use frequently so for example in the default group we can look uh, through the devices and here you can see that uh, my batteries are being charged but very slowly there are a lot of batteries in this group and the power box just gives 150 units uh, per tick and this is not charging to to um, in a in a fast way so uh, what I would do is that I will select from the in the other column the power group and we will look here for the hydrogen generators and now I can switch these hydrogen generators from the power group to the um, default group and this default group uh, batteries these are the ones that are, that are used by the cockpit to make this jump into hyperspace so look at this it's um, loading the batteries are, are loading faster now and uh, there are, there are two like it's it's uh, it's similar to elite like you have these two um, hi hyperspace travel let's say one, one is this uh, you make these jumps into uh, hyperspace and the other one is traveling through the rifts so or or ship already has this jumping cap capability like it can jump into hyperspace but it cannot create rifts so this to create rifts you need um, a special device in your ship a rift generator and this rift generator will consume this um, special resource uh, that we will receive if we complete um, the, these missions some of the rewards were this resource called Sanctium so the rift generators consume something to generate rifts at the beginning you won't have um, resources to to have a, a generator in your ship so if you want to travel to other systems you will um, do it uh, using a rift hub so there are these rift hubs where you can uh, use a, a rift generator that is in the station you will have to load it with uh, Santium and then these stations uh, offer this uh, service to um, to create those rifts for you so now this is our ship here the mole hauler so when you're designing your ship you have to think about yeah you you have to balance your ship right you you need um, to um, have enough batteries uh, enough generators um, you need thrusters um, not only to have uh, propulsion for for your ship but, but also you need these RCS uh, thrusters as well um, you um, also have to think about uh, sensors the, I have this antenna here uh, that lets you scan for resources or to there are cert certain missions that require you to scan a system or a station or some place and um, yeah and you have to think about weapons and um, there are several things that uh, come into the, the the ship design okay so you have these two views right one from the interior of the of the cockpit right where you can um, 
you can look at all these indicators and it's like a, more like a simulation way of playing the game and this uh, external view some prefer this well i i usually use this uh, external view when i'm fighting it helps me uh, see where the enemies are and these other um, screens or, or terminals they let they, they give you different um, information about the ship so you have the ship stats um, where you can see what's the state of the hull, the armor, the fuel, the oxygen, the shields and so on and you have these sensors that um, give you information about what objects are around your ship right the system info that tells you um, what is um, what do what you can find in this system right the different factions and their influence so evidently this this uh, system is dominated by Pearl's um, faction and they, they are th there are these um, remarkable um, stations like the the Hurl's, uh, industrial complex and the hydropax rifts hub and then uh, it gives you information about uh, the abundance of uh, resources so this is important because um, uh, different systems have different uh, resources in different uh, abundance so if you're looking for a certain resource then you have to uh, if you're looking for for a certain resource you have to look for a system that where this resource can be found also there are um, the, the 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 systems have tier this is a tier zero system of course we are starting in a tier zero system and um, they have some modifiers like um, i don't know the pr prices um, there are modifiers that um, affect the prices of goods in the system there are modifiers that um, affect the the spawning of enemies and things like that okay i think we have uh, enough uh, power to make the jump to our next uh, destination so what i would do is that i go here to the station list and look for the closest i think this is the closest and it has uh, we can complete three different missions um if we go to that station so let's do that Ah, by the way, I didn't... I forgot to place the... The nanobots, right? Yes. Oh, that's crazy. And also, I haven't loaded the weapons. Okay, so... Um, we can... This is uh, um, an ammo loader. We can load... Um, this ammo uh, here. And the other one... In the other wing there we go now our weapons are loaded the next thing we need is to um, load the armor generator with the nanobots there we are so here it will um, tell you how many nanobots are active. Th this will be consumed, these nanobots. 
as it's, it be, it's being used. So currently we have 25,000 uh, shield and the maximum is, is 25,000. So if um, we get um, attacked or something, the armor is reduced and the and then the this um, the generator will kick off and the uh, nanobots will start repairing the the the, uh, the armor of the ship but of course this is uh, something that uh, takes place um, at a slow rate so you have to keep that in mind okay so now we are We are done with that, we can jump. Let's jump to hyperspace. So as we um, As we jump, as we increase, the, there are like, um, I don't know how to call it, like gears. So you have like these different levels that you can jump. And as the gears are increased, then the, the time to reach the target is reduced. So uh, in order to be able to teleport to the station or, or to teleport cargo to the station we should be um, 500 meters away or less. So now we can stop and let's see what what is needed here. So I select the station in the cargo teleporter and there there's a list of the missions I can complete. I have to select the resource drop box. This is uh, this is where I'm going to teleport the goods, and the mission is to deliver resources. This one requires twelve thousand hydrogen um, crates. This this yes, twelve thousand. Let's take it. I have, well, I should get rid of these things here. So, 12,000 are 6, uh, 7, right? I think this is enough. There, and, and I have received the reward now. Now it's oxygen. The other one, how, how much oxygen? Um, 13,000. Let's take uh, 
Ah, uh, is this oxygen here? thousand more I think this is it yes because this is the one this the other oxygen is the one we teleported So there we are, another mission finished. And now they are requiring nanobots. 2000 nanobots. I think that's enough, right? Two thousand nanobots. Two thousand. How much? Two thousand one hundred six. So this is uh, twelve hundred. Two thousand four hundred. I think it's less than that. Right. Okay, nice. We have received some fuel as a reward for that mission. So we can use it to replenish our fuel. There we are. Okay, so I think these were all the missions. Let's see how the fuel level it is. Well, it's almost uh, complete. I think we can now uh, transfer back the generators to the power group. So the other systems receive uh, more energy. I wish... I have a, a wish list for this game. <laughs> well, we are... In, uh, the, 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 the developers are available through... Um, uh, Discord server, so we make um, suggestions there, and so now and then we we make some suggestions to the game. One suggestion I would like to 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 that um, they would fulfill is that currently we have these uh, power boxes, right? That will. That will manage uh, power to the different power groups and combined with this um, engineering terminal, well, you can manage power, but it's a little bit uh, cumbersome, right, to do it uh, this way. So if there were like uh, a device similar to the power boxes, but instead of uh, like you have a single um, power group, uh, like you 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 can uh, transfer power from a single power group to uh, from one single power group to another it would be cool if you could have one such device where you you had like this main power group and where you could distribute to several different um power groups so it would be from one to many this would be cool. Like you, you could like you could assign um, a power group to be special, like to be like the source, and then from there you can branch it to um, different others. Because it's also like that in the in the in the terminal. Like you will select one power group uh, to another power group. It's like a one to one. <coughs> The advantage, of course, of the engineering uh, terminal is that you can 
um, jump from one power group to, uh, to the other. But it will be cool like to have a single place where you could... Oh, we have... A, we are being um, attacked, so we have to activate the shields, activate the weapons, and target. Wow, there are a lot. These are the enemies here, the, the Skrill, they're called. So this one is going down shortly that's one but there are really a lot of them one thing one problem about um, fighting near a station is that um, if you hit the station you can get a fine and even they will regard you as uh, an enemy like your wanted level will increase and the uh, and the uh, the drones defending the station could uh, fire at you they can attack you Okay, so my shields are holding currently. That's a good thing. Also, I'm not running out of ammo. Oh, well, I think that was everything. Now I can show you... I can show you the salvage. These l small tri triangles here are... Um, they are debris right from the from the aliens and now i can go to the salvage unit and it will show me a list of things that are floating in space and then i can mine it they will come out here um so we have these um ni nitrous oxide it's useful for weapons. To craft weapons. And this pink stuff is um, alien meat. You can make like uh, food cartridges out of it. Okay, so that was quite a lot of aliens right there. I, sh I think I should turn off the, the shields. So here you can see... You can see that I got... Um, oops, now what's this? I think that's a pirate. Who is being shot at? There, uh, where? There, it's a pirate drone. Oh, these are good, um, good, uh, um, it's a good um, target because they give a lot of, let's go there quickly. They, they give uh, um, good um, debris, they drop, they drop really useful things. So let's go and salvage that. There we are. Let's see what it contains.
The most valuable thing here is this nitrous oxide. Because with it we can just... Um, we can... Um, craft ammo. That otherwise this nitrous oxide is... Uh, um, it's not found on this system. Well, you have the nitrogen, I think, and, and then you can craft it. Well, there's some ni nitrogen in the system. But you see, ah, look, there's gold. We can get some gold. The gold is useful to craft some items. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not... There are... Oh, I'm full now, so better put this here. Yeah, look at that, it's, it, co it has so many things. And as, um, as time goes on, um, the, the debris just um, flies away, uh, out of range. And then you cannot um, get it back. You cannot. Well, you could try to move your ship to. Like to. To salvage the things that uh, drift away. But of course, since uh, these things are being dispersed is ever more difficult to like to be efficient uh, salvaging stuff but look at th th this um, this thing we are we are getting here like with this recycle symbol is like um, this is uh, this needs to be processed so they are still scrap this scrap that needs to be processed further so it's still cr scrap iron scrap copper scrap and so on yeah well the the, the iron scrap is not that important because iron is like everywhere but um yeah Things like um, this nitrous oxide is, is um, valuable. I think I will leave that, the rest of it. Okay, so let's uh, complete the other mission. Let's, I want to load. So we have um, one mission. Uh, let's we need to turn off the shields and let's go for the other mission so not bad we had a a good run here. I, well, I, I I thought at at some time that um, um, I was being overwhelmed, but no. This this ship is is a good ship. It's a good starting ship. Um, you see, if we had uh, um, stuck with this um, starting faction ship. We, we couldn't have defeated all those uh, Skrills. So we would have to just jump away. 
because you you just you get overwhelmed you don't have weapons you cannot um, return fire and yeah that's uh, the end of it another suggestion for this game is well one thing is that you cannot like land in um, planets so definitely this is not an adventure game of course this is more like a sandbox it's, it's, it's more closely related to elite like the, or the original elite not like this um, remake of Elite, like you have like uh, this um, exploration aspect of it, like um, looking at different uh, landscapes and stuff. But the original Elite were, there was no, of course, the graphics were not that good and you didn't have like this um, landscape um, contemplation <laughs> aspect. So this, this game is um, more closely related to the original Elite. But if you look at it, it's, it's amazing. I mean, <laughs> if you compare this with the original Elite, the fact that you can create your own ships, that you can, um, that you can crew a ship with, with friends and stuff, this is amazing. If you are <laughs> somehow spoiled by <laughs> by um, the modern games, yeah, I know that my <laughs> my age is uh, it's like being uh, an important aspect of this <laughs> game review, <laughs> let's say, but. Um, yeah, I I really enjoy these games, uh, these indie games. Okay, so we are pretty close to our destination. When you see this uh, small symbol of this circle with the arrow, it means that the destination is behind the planet. Almost there. Okay, so what is it? There's something going on here. But I don't see... Ah, there they are. We have enemies ahead. Where is it? Ah, there. Where is it? Ah, it was killed. The drones uh, took, took, took it out. Okay, but that means free um, free loot, right? We didn't have to work for it. There we go. So let's see what we have here.
Yeah, basically what's valuable here is this neutral oxide thing. And well, I, I think that's a pirate. A pirate. Wait for me, please. Where's the pirate? Okay. I thought there was a pirate, but I don't see anything. Okay, let's deliver the stuff. Let's see what what is this mission about? The truck box. Okay. Two thousand three hundred sixty eight nanobots. Yeah, I thought there were many nanobots. Ah, I think this one is mine. The others are theirs. Yep, that's it. Reward. And with this... Um, Take this. With this um, alien meat, we can create food cartridges. This is what we can do with the meat. So and and also you can you can sell it, right? You can sell the the alien meat. La not the alien meat. The um, the. Um, the food cartridges, you can sell them in stations, if you need money. And you just have alien meat, you can just process it. Well, if you have the printer, I think that's all, That's another thing. I think the, the starter ship doesn't have... Um, it doesn't have... the um, a printer station it doesn't have a, pr uh, a printer so this this is another advantage of this ship well one thing um, you can do or we can do yes for example mm, what can we do because we have we have like this um, we have the the nitrous oxide but i think we don't have enough um, iron so let's let's go to a production station and let's try to uh, i will show you how we can turn the 
iron into ammo, for example, just to show you how you would do it. So we currently we don't have this assembly machine, and even in the in industrial industrial complex, there's no assembly machine. We will need an assembly machine to craft this um, ammo. So. Uh, ah, but I think no, we cannot do that because this system is not developed. So there's a refining station where we can refine stuff, stuff, but there's no. You see that? Well, this is another part of the game, right? You you have all these. Um, station construction satellites that means that um, if you go to one of those uh, construction satellites it's like a small satellite it doesn't offer anything but if you give the resources that it needs um let's see if we can see this it will if I mark it as target, there you are. You see that it um, in blue. You see that uh, there are some um, ingots highlighted, and these are um, these these are the resources it needs to be um, built. So, for example, here there are these events and. Uh, in these events, these there are there are events for every faction, and uh, there's these hurls events, and then there is this um, event here: build a an HSC mining station. So if you give resources to that, and, and it says what resources it needs, so. Yeah, but we are not going to do that today. So we um, we're bex basically heading back to the industrial complex. Let's see what's going on here in the default group. So yes, we have enough energy just to to go back. So. I will head back to the station and uh, yeah in in a I think in a in a in, the, in a next video I will be doing some of these events Yeah because currently currently um, there's no way to um, craft things in these systems like i can craft things in the in the printer right but this small printer only crafts uh, small items but if you want things like uh, ammo or even if you want to craft because xanthium is also craftable and there are other things you can craft um you will need an assembly machine an assembler basically and this assembler, there's no assembler in this system currently. So that's why uh, currently the only way to get ammo is by buying it in the trading stations. Uh, but if I would, um, if I would have uh, the chance. Uh, to operate an assembler then I could craft this ammo from these uh, things that I um, salvage oh I overshot Oh, but not a great deal. This happens sometimes.
Okay, the other activity is uh, mining. You can mine in the asteroid in asteroids belts. This is, this is also possible. So if you want like um, rare resources, you can mine them in asteroid belts. But this would be a matter of uh, another video, like me showing you how to do that. Uh, I always uh, start the game uh, like a hauler, like I will haul stuff. It's the, I think it's the easiest way to earn money. Usually I don't, uh, I don't choose this um, security guard thingy or like this missions to take out aliens and stuff. But yeah, I think um, there are maybe your 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 game style is is different. And this is this is the thing about this game. You can you can choose different uh, like careers. It's like uh, in that sense, like elite. Um, okay, so. Here, the, the last thing I wanted to, to show you is that in, in the grip, you have the, the encyclopedia. So if you want to know, like, for example, how to um, craft ammo, you can go to the encyclopedia and here it will tell you the recipe. So you will need one nitrous oxide and two parts of standard shell. And if you cl click on the standard shell, it will tell you uh, what do you need to do it and how to do it. And you see here that you need this assembling machine. And there in, currently in this system, this system is not de developed. So uh, it's full of um, uh, construction satellites right now. Okay, guys, but um, I think we will leave it here for now. Uh, and here or food cartridge is um, it finish um, crafting here this um, cartridge is uh, used to regenerate your health you can get hurt in the game and uh, yeah you can consume this uh, meal <laughs> it's called daily meal <laughs> and uh, it will g regenerate your health so and you can store it in you know some container so that's everything in this uh, playthrough of um, interstellar rift um, i hope you um, enjoyed the video uh, please leave a like and see you in the next one so this is Cyber Settler signing off.